Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing and I am so excited for your How Do They Feel About You reading, obviously for Pisces season. So um, this is going to be a general reading, obviously it won't be for everyone, but if it is for you, please comment below. You guys know I love when you engage with the videos. It helps me to see that you like the content and that you want more of it. So definitely comment if it's your story and if not, you can always check my channel and your other Zodiac placements for messages you need to hear. But most importantly, again, please engage with the video, like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And of course, make sure that your notification bell is on so you can be alerted when I post new videos. So my lovely Capricorns, I feel like it's taken me forever to get to your reading, but we're finally here. And uh, of course, before we get started, I wanted to make a few announcements. So just bear with me. I know in the last Capricorn intimate extended reading I did for you guys I did kind of touch on these topics but I want you to know that the changes have officially been implemented so as we close out Pisces season and move into the new astrological year obviously it's my three-year anniversary on YouTube and I'm wanting to keep things fresh so this will be the last long Capricorn reading that I do for you guys for a while at least, okay? I may change my mind and go back to doing it a little while down the road, but for now, I've decided to consolidate all of those videos and bring you your seasonal messages in an element reading. So you can find your Capricorn readings in the Earth sign video from now on, okay? Um, now, we're not doing away with Zodiac readings altogether, so don't go anywhere, Capricorn. I'm gonna still be doing 12 one-minute Zodiac shorts and that's going to be how I determine who gets the intimate extended bonus reading each month. So I'm definitely not doing away with that because y'all are always, always, always getting that video each month. So so yeah, I'm going to continue to do that. This will open up more opportunities to do things uh, a little differently on the channel, maybe more live opportunities, collective readings, and possibly more time spent in the members only area. So uh, by the way, while I was talking, I just saw 222. So so yeah, I feel, I feel good about the changes that I'm making here, especially those of you who have seen um, recently that I posted about me rebranding my channel. So I will no longer be posting as Witchy Woo Tarot, although I completely loved the three-year era. Um, I'm wanting to label everything under my official business name, which is Woo Works LLC. So again, thank you guys for your support. I hope you choose to continue to follow me on this journey as these changes are made. But if you're new or returning, I would love for you to check down in the description box below because I updated all of my information, okay? So that includes my social media links, my email address, and my payment app information, um, especially those of you wanting to book personal readings or make a donation to the channel. Um, so yeah, be my mindful of all of that. The only thing that's still the same is my website and it's because I'm waiting for the time to run out on the domain. So anyways, Capricorn, again, thank you so much for your support. Thank you to the subscribers and members of the Spicy Sub Society. Thank you to those of you who have purchased private readings and or tipped me generously. Uh, I love you guys and your support is ever so appreciated as always. But um, again, as a gratitude token for those of you who have been a part of my journey these last three years, I am extending my 50% discount for private readings to all of my readings this month, okay? So not just the love and soul connection readings, but all of them. So be sure to get booked with me this month at half price as a thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want to support in another way, like I said, you can always make a donation or you can become a member of the Spicy Sub Society, and that link is down below. So <clears throat> I'm literally losing my voice repeating all of this information in these videos, but we're almost there, okay? Your second to 
last. So uh, hopefully I make it through these next two videos without sounding like a man, okay? Um, <clears throat> so anyways, Capricorn, let's get into your reading finally. Like I said, this is a how do they feel about you. So please keep in mind of the perspective you're watching the reading. Reverse roles if it's necessary. Um, and of course, always use your discernment, okay? So this reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the lovely crotch watcher of Capricorn as always. So what is the vibe here? What do we need to see for the overall energy between you and your person Capricorn? What is the card we need to see for Capricorn and the energy of them and their person? Oh, I love how it just did this. Shuffling the card came out and set back down on my hand. So what is it? What is it? contemplation okay <laughs> as I'm saying what is it what is it so maybe you are in a state of deep contemplation regarding the connection that you have okay um, this could be you and your person um, you might need to make a decision here in the coming days in the future of your relationship with them um, but in a sense, I feel like contemplation and discernment are kind of similar here. So maybe there are some things that you've been thinking about, um, in regards to your journey with this person. And, uh, let's see, let's see what else the cards reveal in regards to that. What else? One more of these cards here. Ooh, and light. Uh, this card was in the reverse, so maybe you're a little bit in the dark right now as far as what's going on between you and this person. Um, you know, maybe you have been feeling sort of dim or <clears throat> down recently, okay? Um, when I see the light card in the reverse, I'm thinking maybe some of you have been doing some shadow work even, but um, hopefully... With this contemplative energy, things will be coming to light in this reading, okay? Um, <clears throat> let's talk about how this person is feeling about you, and then we're going to find out where is this all going, okay? So let's see, how is Capricorn's person feeling about them or the relationship? Okay, all right, so we have the Six of Wands. I see this as a card of passion and forward movement. So this person feels like this relationship is going somewhere, okay? And uh, they also feel very passionate and um, accomplished by your side. This is also a card of spirit sort of um, urging or encouraging this person towards success so on some level, there could be an achievement that this person is trying to reach on the journey that you share together, and they're being divinely guided and supported, okay? This person could also be in the public eye um, or have a kind of a public life. So let's, let's clarify. But again, we're talking about passion and, and forward movement. So I do think that this person feels... There's potential to have success here in this partnership. So to clarify, I was talking about this person maybe having a public life. And we have the Three of Swords popping up in the reverse. So this could involve a third-party energy. I know y'all probably are like, oh, but it's true, right? This can involve your person healing from a third-party situation or releasing a third party. But uh, obviously, the... We're going back to the original cards here of contemplation and, and light in the reverse. You know, the fact that this could have started as a third party could be why you are feeling in the dark, okay? Maybe this person right now is um, going to battle in a sense or participating in some sort of... Um, some sort of journey in regards to this lesson or this part of their life. So it's either one of two things. Either this person is trying to release a third party situation or they're healing from a breakup or heartbreak. Okay, maybe this person has been betrayed before and now their goal, like I said, is to have victory here in this connection with you. To clarify even further, the Ten of Swords is coming up with the Three of Swords. So I do feel that this person has been betrayed or kind of stabbed in the back here. A karmic ending has definitely taken place in this person's life. So even though this person is very passionate and wants things to move forward with you, they are still clearing away this pain and this damage that's been done in their situation. So Ten of Swords is like someone being at rock bottom. So yeah, you know... 
maybe this situation that they were in, this third party made them feel that way. But the victory card, the success card coming up as their feelings for you, um, it's going somewhere. Okay, it's going somewhere positive. All right. Um, you could also be dealing with a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. We have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I think that also this person, you may have given this person the courage to conquer this situation, right? Um, because that is also this energy here, right? Someone who is conquering or, or like going on a quest to achieve a certain goal. So I think this person has done just that. They've set on this quest to cut out anything from their life that's no longer serving. King of Swords is very decisive, very blunt, very um, intellectual, okay? So I do feel this is also representing a card of communication. This person could feel like it's time to reach out and share this information with you okay and I only say that because again we started out with you being potentially in the dark about the connection so maybe behind the scenes this person has been dealing with all of their feelings in regards to this karmic ending um and you know what's even better? We've got the star underneath that. So yeah, I do feel that your person has been wishing for things to align in divine timing here. Um, you know, the Ariel's leg splitting off into uh, from her fishtail. It's another thing here. Like this person has been wishing to be a part of your world, but they've been stuck in this other world dealing with their karmic like cycles. Okay. So I do feel that this person knows they're being divinely guided to you. Once again, that came up with the six of wands. So the wands represent the soul's journey and this person is feeling pulled towards success and victory, possibly even um, a coming out or a public recognition. This person knows they can never go out in public with you if they're still dealing with a karmic third party. Okay. So, um, and yeah, even more so just to elaborate on that situation, the 10 of wands, okay. Talking about their feelings, they have spent so much time feeling burdened and overwhelmed by all of the energy coming at them from all sides, taking on the responsibility of others. Just, they've got their hands full, right? So this person has been getting closer and closer to ending this cycle. We've got two tens happening here. So I do think that they are finally putting all of that down and, and realizing that they've been wasting time holding and carrying everything for everyone else, that they're not able to pursue what their soul wants them to pursue. Okay. Which is potentially you, right? Capricorn. So, oh my gosh, not the cards falling out everywhere. Let's see what came out though. So first and foremost, we have only two cards out of all those cards that came face up and it's the queen of chalices in the reverse. Um, and then the 10 of cups in the upright. So your person may have had to make a trade for a manipulative or um, emotionally controlling individual, right? Could be a mother or a karmic partner. But I see the Queen of Cups as someone who is is manipulative, okay? They, um, they possibly act like a martyr or use love as a weapon. Um, you know, this is the opposite of unconditional love. Someone who perhaps chases or again tries to control using guilt or, or fear or emotion. Um, now the Ten of Cups popping up next to it. It's like your person knows that in order to have happiness, to have a life of fulfillment, to have a family, and to have a reunion with someone they feel really connected to, they needed to get rid of that situation, okay? And I say get rid of, but y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? Um... Obviously, you know, hopefully there's no like domestic violence or anything like that happening in an, in their karmic situation, but I don't really feel that with the queen of, of cups in the reverse. I think that if anything, your person stuck around in that situation because they felt guilty. Okay. They also felt as if, you know, maybe this person was very controlling or again, manipulative, used emotions, played on your person's fears and their emotions to keep them stuck. Um, but ultimately, this person sees the Ten of Cups 
in the future, okay? They know that they deserve to be happy, that they deserve to have a happy family. Um, so yeah, I think that this person knew that they needed to make that separation. So what does this person want? Even though I kind of feel like the 10 of cups is it. And you know what? We have the nine of cups right after that. So this person definitely wants to be happy. They want to feel fulfilled. They want their wish, okay, of the 10 of cups, of things aligning for them, of them breaking free of that restrictive mermaid tail, metaphorically speaking, okay? So, um, so yeah, and, and Capricorn, underneath that, we have the devil, which is your energy, but we were just talking about them breaking free of something. So this could have definitely involved them learning lessons on codependency, on materialism, on, on being attached to toxic connections and not being able to break free. You know, sometimes the devil can also represent obsession, okay? So this person... I think also is very sexually attracted to you. They could be obsessing over you or, or kind of having dirty fantasies about you, Capricorn. Um, but again, what do they want? The nine of pentacles. So again, they're breaking free. They're breaking free of that connection. They're learning lessons on how to be independent, on how to take care of themselves and build stability without someone else hovering over them, without needing to stay or stick around in a partnership that's that's not fulfilling for them. Okay, so where is this connection going? Okay, so... We now have the counterpart of the King of Swords, which is the Queen of Swords. So you could simply say that there's going to be a meeting of minds here between you and this person, open and honest communication, getting on the same page and divine counterpart energy coming into fruition. We have the Four of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So this could even, oh gosh, I'm getting the hiccups. This could even be Spirit saying that the opportunity that was once missed, right, is coming back around to be reevaluated in a sense. I think that this person is starting to look back at the past and realize they could have done things way differently. Um, maybe they could have saved time. They could have had more love in their life. You know, this person may also understand that they wasted so much time in that karmic situation trying to make things perfect when, you know, you can't change other people, right? Meanwhile, spirit was teasing them with this cup of love the whole time. And obviously you were sitting in that cup of love like Dita Von Teese, okay? So Ace of Wands being passion, sexual and sensual energy, the spark, the flame, okay? The chance for a new adventure and, and taking action. That is what's happening here. That is where this connection is going. You are going to be connecting with your person physically. You are going to be looking at the time that you've spent apart and how unhappy you've been without each other. And again, you and this person are going to be connecting and getting on the same page. Okay. So what is the challenge here? That came out fast. Okay, Capricorn, the challenge is get the hell out of your head, okay? You and this person could be in a situation right now where you feel stuck, okay? Um you know, get out of that mentality. Uh, there's nothing beneficial of you staying stuck in place. You're not stuck in place. Okay. This is all a part of the journey. If this is you worried about what's going to happen in the future because you're physically separated right now, stop. Okay. Knock it off. It's time to end that thinking. Okay. You need to stop being negative and stop thinking the worst case scenario. Do not Put yourself in a mental prison of anguish about what's to come. Know and trust that everything is going to be fine because spirit is clearing the path ahead for you. So, so yeah, this is also possibly your person's challenge, overthinking things, getting all up in their head, being anxious and fearful. So that's the challenge, breaking out of the constricts, constraints of the mind. I'm over here making up words and shit. So um, anything else we need to see? Anything else we need to see from this deck regarding their situation? Yeah, so this is a yes. Confirmation on everything, okay? Everything I just said is 100% true. <laughs> All right, the sun is a yes, it's masculine energy, it's prosperity and a promise for brighter days ahead. This is also, you know, a, a very a very promising 
card when it comes to new beginnings. So basically spirit is saying like the sun is going to shine again in this relationship. Even if you feel right now that you're in the dark mentally, um, things are going to be illuminated very soon. The sun card is also a card of enlightenment. So so I love this energy for you. Underneath the deck, we have judgment. So you know that spirit has been keeping a close eye on this relationship, gently and lovingly tooting that horn in your face and saying, it is time for things to come back around, right? This is a resurrection of the past and uh, putting on the right path. So I think that you and this person are definitely on a spiritual path together. Um, and I think that your person has finally made the judgment call call based on the signs and synchronicities that they've received from the universe okay so let's go ahead and get a card of advice um in regards to this person what does spirit want you to know capricorn um, and this is the oracle of the mermaids so what do we have to see here for capricorn in regards to the energy of their person what is the advice here Okay, Capricorn, I got three, but I only wanted one. So I'm putting it back and I'm going to shuffle one more time. See if maybe I can just get the one. What's the one card we need to see? Okay. So the card is Imrama, okay? And I love that she's reaching over the boat to try to touch this dolphin here. And there's another dolphin below the surface. We know dolphins represent soulmates, twin flame relationships. Again, whatever label you resonate with is cool with me, okay? So wonder voyage, crossing deep waters, pilgrimage, and journey of the soul. Okay, so what did I say earlier? You and this person are on a soul journey. You're on a journey together that's being guided by spirit, by the universe. Okay, so we're going to read the mermaid song here. <clears throat> if I can find it, it's like, like the last, literally the last card in the book. That's why I wasn't finding it. So the mermaid song is, you may have heard that in a great legend and story of the Celtic people, this word, Imrama, and of the many islands and seas that must be crossed, of the ninth wave, and of the places that you can journey to. Such an odd sentence and arrangement of words. We come to sing to you of your own soul voyage that must take place now. We urge you to take our hands and swim, swim with us, sail next to us, paddle alongside us, and we shall show you the way to navigate the great currents and to traverse the world of the air and the world of the water. You have lived, excuse me, you have long divided yourself into your parts, your emotions you keep so separate from your head. On Imrama, the lines you have so cleanly divided all into will blur, and you will, at times, no longer know what is real or unreal. But all the while, we will sing you onwards, calling you forth, so you continue to follow the journey of the soul. Prepare for sights that are wonders, creatures who defy your imagination, and discoveries about who you are. You will gather so much and experience such awe that you will feel at times you may be dreaming, but you are not. You are embarking on an Imrama, and all that you encounter is the unknown. Lands of strangers will teach you, and you will be akin to Odysseus as he voyaged. Odysseus, sorry. You will discover that the mermaids are not those sirens of that myth, but the navigators of the emotional underworld who will help you reach the other side, extending yourself, feeling the wind in your hair. So I'm going to read this other part for you guys as well, because what I'm getting from that passage is basically this is your soul journey. Okay. Um, it's your soul journey. We talk about this in soul connection readings. The twin flame journey is just simply 
your soul journey, okay? And I always say, you are your twin flame. So if you are feeling that you are connecting to this reading because of your soul journey, then spirit is telling you to continue continue traveling that soul journey, even in times where you feel like there is an unknown or um, you feel like you're in the dark, okay? Not everything is meant to be illuminated at any moment and any given time. Sometimes things remain unknown because there are parts of our journey that we still have to journey, okay? So there will soon be a great voyage for you where you travel over water to come to a place that your soul has longed to journey to. So maybe you're not physically traveling over water, but traveling over water could be a metaphor for expressing your emotions, right? There will be so much that is wonderful for you to explore and to come to know, but you will be called on. You will not stay in these places for they are not home, but they are places your soul must taste to know more of the experience of life. The Imrama or the pilgrimage over water is one that is watched over by the mermaids and one that we all must make during our lifetimes. You are now being asked to prepare to save Plan your travel, purchase your tickets, and have your passport ready. You can plan all you like because the trip will ultimately be taking you. Be ready. This will be a wonderful voyage and you will always be glad you listened and made your pilgrimage of the soul. The mermaids will help you on your way. And oh, what beauties there shall be. Say yes, for now is the time to voyage forth and return only when your Imrama, your soul journey is complete loving it. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully that passage resonated with you. I'm going to grab some musical messages from your divine counterpart. And yes, this deck is one that I created. Volumes one and two are in my shop currently. Um, so you can always purchase if you're a deck collector, but what do we need to see <clears throat> for my sexy Capricorns, my favorites of all time? What does your person want you to know? Oh, I love this song. It's by NSYNC and it's called This I Promise You. So when the, excuse me, I can't even read. Literally, I'm sitting about a foot away and it looks so blurry. I think I might need glasses. So when the visions around you bring tears to your eyes and all that surrounds you are secrets and lies, I'll give you strength. I'll bring you hope, keeping your faith when it's gone. The one you should call was standing here all along. And I will take you in my arms and hold you right where you belong. Oh, God, I love that song. Till the day my life is through, this I promise you. <clears throat> As I'm losing my voice, sorry for the crappy singing, but I feel like it needed to be sung, okay? This person promises you that they're going to be there for you till the day their life is through, okay? What else do we need to see? I'm definitely going to be crying to that song here in just a minute. Um <laughs> You know my cancer rising ass. I just put on sad songs on purpose so I can cry, okay? So we also have Nothing Compares to You by Sinead O'Connor, okay? It's been so lonely without you here, like a bird without a song. Nothing can stop these lonely tears from falling. Tell me, baby, where did I go wrong? I could put my arms around every boy I see, but they'd only remind me of you. So again, this person is saying nothing and no one compares to you. Like, doesn't matter. They could move on tomorrow, but the feeling is never going to be the same. Okay. Um, they feel lonely when they're not with you. Uh, and, and it's like a bird without a song. How sad is that? I'm literally picturing a caged bird right now looking all just dejected. Okay. What else do we need to see for Capricorn? We have Wonder by Shawn Mendes. Right before I close my eyes, the only thing that's on my mind, been dreaming that you feel it too. I wonder what it's like to be loved by you. So yes, again, I do think this person was very trapped like a bird in a cage in their previous relationship. And they've just had all of these nights uh, laying down in bed and thinking about you, thinking about being with you, laying next to you, experiencing life with you. Um, what else do we need to see here? 
And we have I Don't Know Much. This song has come up quite a bit in these readings. So many questions still left unanswered. So much I've never broken through. And when I feel you near me, sometimes I see so clearly that the only truth I'll ever know is me and you. And that's Linda Ronstan and Aaron Neville. So this person doesn't know a lot, Capricorn, but they know that they love you, okay? They know that they want to be with you. They want a life with you. And even in times where they feel like they have questions or they're in the dark, they they still know, okay? They know that much, that you're the one for them. Uh, I feel like this song also came up in a recent collective reading, but um, I could be wrong. One more, one more for Capricorn before we close out the reading. Let's try that again. Oh my gosh, I keep getting chunks flipping over. I just want one card. Ah! As I say that, literally a hundred cards fall out of the deck. But the one that came up, <clears throat> the one that came up is Everlong. So, and I wonder when I sing along with you, if everything could ever feel this real forever, if anything could ever be this good again. So again, going back to, you know, what we talked about, this person could move on, but it would never be the same, right? It would never feel the same as when they're with you, okay? Um, and the other card that was kind of sticking out was Love Will Lead You Back by Taylor Dane. So love will lead you back someday. I just know that love will lead you back to my arms where you belong. I'm sure, sure as stars are shining, one day you will find me again. It won't be long. One of these days, our love will lead you back. So if you are in a separation period, period with this person just trust that you and them are going to be led back to each other um this journey that you're on solo it might be solo for a while but eventually the fork in the road is going to join the two of you back to the same path okay so trust in your journey capricorn and hopefully this reading resonated with those of you still watching um i hope that you enjoyed it and of course i'd love to see your comments um your little heart emotion Emojis, whatever it is you want to share down there. Uh, but other than that, Capricorn, I'm sure I'll be seeing you again for intimate extended readings in the future. And those of you who are members of the channel, y'all will be seeing me a lot. Okay, so I love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye.